I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. With more of us working from home, employees and administrators alike are trying to gain access to the machines that they normally use in the office. And often, what they are doing and using is remote desktop protocol, or RDP. RDP is built into pretty much any modern Windows device, and it allows you to connect to a machine, as long as that machine accepts connections, connect to that machine and use it as if you were sitting right next to it, just over the network. Now, with so many people trying to gain access to machines in the office while working from home, one thing that they end up doing, and because we're working from home, and you have the machine over here, what happens is that they start to punch holes in the firewall. In fact, Shodan reports that they've seen a 41% increase in open ports 3389. Now 3389 is the port for RDP, so they've seen an increase in a 41% increase in open internet ports, and they've seen a 37 percent increase of opening port 3388, so security by obscurity. Now, poking holes in the firewall is never a good idea to get to your, your uh, remote desktop back here because scammers can just use automated tools and scan the internet for open ports and specifically these ports, and all that's separating you from the bad guy is a username and password. Brute force can easily break that password. They get in and they now own your device. So you really don't want to be punching holes. Uh, you really want to protect these machines on the back end. And so a better way you have your firewall is, let's just, you know, kind of create our little enterprise here and we have the big bad internet there is oh this guy needs some arms is to go through and instead is to connect to an SSL VPN device now this you would terminate on the SSL VPN almost like you are gaining access or requesting access via VPN which certainly is another another way uh, to do it but you'll get a uh, credential ask, so you get, you know, username, password, and often there'll be a multi-factor authentication in addition to just a simple username and password, and that's unique to you, not necessarily the end device. And once you pass inspection, you would then get presented with a list of various, whether it's a specific application on that server or managing the entire server itself, or even, you know, VDI instances, a, uh, a virtual desktop instance on the back end. And so this way, you don't have to poke holes through the firewall. The SSL VPN and F5's is Access Policy Manager. Being a full proxy, it'll proxy the connections and handle those connections for you to the machine. Um, it can actually offer you native RDP protocols and handle it, or it can do through uh, little applets and stuff that then presents it to you over uh, SSL, HTTPS SSL. So this entire transmission, so over the internet, it might not be encrypted, but from, from here all the way to the desktop will be encrypted the entire way back and forth. So that's how you would want to do RDP over the internet to then gain access and control your servers that are sitting back in the office. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to learn more about any of F5 solutions and specifically F5 Access Policy Manager, and by the way, it's real easy to configure. The administrator would just uh, be presented with with the visual policy editor and easily make this happen for you. 
So as I was saying, you can visit us at devcentral.f5.com. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching.